Hi FlossTube, I'm Annie and I am the Proper Stitcher and welcome to episode number 88. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so glad you stopped by today. This is a channel where I like to talk about cross stitch and quilting and hopefully give you inspiration to fully finish your projects. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all have had a great past couple of weeks. I did not come to you last week because I had traveled to Las Vegas. The jet lag really got me this time. I don't know why, but I just felt like I could not shake it last week. I um, just had a really hard time getting back into the swing of things at home, but we had a great time in Las Vegas. Matthew's birthday was February the 16th, so we went there to celebrate his birthday. Um, that was what he wanted to do, and um, it was the first time we had taken the trip to Vegas without him having any work-related appointments or meetings or anything like that. So it was nice to just go and enjoy the, our time together. Um, I did not make it to Stitcher's Paradise this time. I, every time I travel to Las Vegas, I try to make a trip to Stitcher's Paradise. But this trip, I wanted it to just be about Matt's birthday. And um, there was a lot of construction and traffic, and I just didn't want to take the journey to Stitcher's Paradise. Um, but if I go back in May with Matt for his convention, I will, um, I will definitely make a trip to Stitcher's Paradise again. So I'm just so glad to be back into the swing of things. Today is Thursday, um, March the 2nd. Hard to believe that we are in March. My bookshelves are not decorated. I just have not been able to organize all of my spring decorations and get my bookshelves ready. But I didn't want to delay this video another day. Um, because of my bookshelves not being decorated. I leave for market here in a few minutes and I wanted to get this video recorded and out to you guys so that you can um, maybe watch while you're stitching this weekend. So next week you will see spring in all of its glory on my bookshelves and throughout my house. Um, but today I just don't have it and so I thought this would be a fun um, before and after kind of a video. So um, anyway, so it's just a little bear behind me, but that's okay. I just wanted to say hi and say a quick, quick hello. So this will be a short video. I leave for Nashville Needlework Market today. Um, for those of you who do not know what market is, um, and it's funny, we call it market, um, but it's Nashville Needlework Market. So we condense it and just call it market. But it is the wholesale needlework market. Um, that is hosted in Franklin, Tennessee every year, and it is not open to the public. It's only open to shop owners and business owners. It gives those shop owners and business owners online and brick and mortar stores the opportunity to go and um, purchase inventory for their store. This is also the time when a lot of the um, designers have new releases. They have spring releases that come out at market. So there's a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. It's very contagious. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm invited and, and I attend with a shop owner. My friend with Stitch Etc. is um, the, one of the shop owners that is attending to purchase items for her store. So because it is such a large market and um, 
the inventory is a little a little limited. Usually shop owners bring a couple of people to assist them. And so I am one of her helpers. So because it's hard to go uh, to all the floors and all of the shops and all the vendors um, for just one person. So a lot of people bring uh, a helper, if you will, and they will go and help purchase items for the store. So that's my job. I'll have a list and I'll have a list of shops that she wants me to go to and I will go and purchase items for her store. And it's just so much fun. I just love going to Franklin. Um, I'm excited about Market every year and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, a lot of new faces at Market and seeing some people that I've met before. So I will bring you all of the latest and greatest um, what's happening at Market. I'll do post on my Instagram and Facebook pages. Um, if you're not a member of those, go and check them out. I have a Facebook page. There are some questions you need to answer. Answer those questions so I know you're a real person. And um, Instagram, uh, my Instagram page is open. Both are the proper stitcher. So go and find me there. But, okay, so let's see. Let me look at my notes. Um, yes, I do leave for market. Now, I, if you um, have not heard, I am host co-hosting a retreat in September in Franklin. It's called Samplers Remembered. And um, the guest designer is Little Robin Designs. I will also come to you all from her um, shop at market and with photos and maybe we'll do a quick video and say hello to Robin. But we are so excited about this retreat. We still have some spaces available. Um, Kim and I really have a, a lot of fun hosting retreats together. We make sure that it is a special event for the attendees. We wanna make sure that everything that you receive and do and participate in is special and is um, really a good experience for you. If you do not have anyone to travel with, that is totally fine. There are a lot of people who will be coming alone. Um, we do have a Facebook private page for that, uh, for the attendees. So if you are interested um, and once you get into the retreat, if you're interested in finding a roommate, you can post that there. So that'll help with um, a room accommodations and that sort of thing. But the dates are September 21st through the 24th. Um, and it is just going to be a fabulous event. I did a separate video, a couple of videos back uh, to go. If you have, if you have any questions, you can go back and watch that. You can also email me at thepropersticher at gmail.com. Um, Stitch Etc. also did a separate video just on the retreat information. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We have a few spaces available if you're interested. Um, just let me know if you have any questions. So go and check out those videos. Okay, let me show you some haul that I have um, uh, and some gifts that I've received. I don't have a lot. You know, gearing up towards market, I try to be really good. I try not to um, buy a lot of things because I just really want to see what's coming out for market. So very small amount to share with you, but I did get one sweet Valentine gift that came in the mail after my last video. And it is from my good friend, Donna White. And she, um, I've met her at one of our cross stitch retreats that we hosted a couple of years ago. And she is such a, such a sweet lady, but she is a master paper crafter. So she is really talented with scrapbooking and just making unique little little gifts that are uh, paper crafts so sweet so she made this little um i see them i think of them as like a tussie messy which was um and the reason i think of this is because we had these at my wedding but for the um mother of the bride and the mother of the groom but instead of a instead of a corsage or a um a bouquet of flowers. We had just these little Tessie Mussies and they were used in the Victorian era for, um, to have flowers in so that you could walk around and smell fresh flowers because of the, the smell of the, the streets and things like that and, and being outside. But this reminded me of a Tessie Mussy. So she, um, made this adorable little hanger and look at these beautiful little pearls she put on it. And it had candy in it and it had these scissors and it says, be my Valentine. I just thought this was beautiful with that ribbon she made. So pretty. And she had this little girl cut out, this little Valentine cut out with a little note on it. The silhouette. Isn't that so sweet? 
Thank you, Donna. That was so thoughtful, and it was such a joy to receive in the mail. Donna um, and, and Diana, her friend Diana, they will both be at the Stitching with the Housewives retreat that we are hosting in um, July, so I'm really excited about that. Is it June or July? I can't remember. Maybe it's June. This summer. <laughs> it's, it is in Greenwood, Indiana. So, I also received um, in the mail, or I purchased, I purchased a new pointer turner presser. It's, I usually call it a, a pokey thing, but this is a pointer turner presser. And this is a tool. It's like a bamboo, made out of like a bamboo material, but this is what I use to poke the holes, or not the holes, the corners of stuffed pillows that I make. So I got this on Amazon. I needed, I lost my other one when I went to Lisa's um, in Florida, my sister's house. So I got another one of those. And after watching the video on how to make the stand up um, stitch pieces that I'm going to do for one of my spring um, designs that I stitched, I um, found that you need to have some drapery weights that gives the stand up piece some weight so it doesn't fall over. So I got some drapery weights. So I will um, use these two things when I go to make um, the Spring Frolic at Bunny Hill by Brenda Gervais. I'm making that into a stand up pillow. So I got those for in preparation, looking ahead for what I'm going to need when I could have finished those. So I ordered from Trixie Tricycle. She has started a business that is called Cedar River Linen and Designs, and she hand dyes linen. And uh, it takes a few weeks because she hand dyes everything. Everything is special ordered, um, but she packages everything beautifully when you are when it arrives she has this tissue paper with her logo on it and this is a piece of cedar and it smells so good with her logo on it cedar river linen and designs i will link her website below and her floss tube um, she has a floss tube that goes over everything um, about how she does her linen but i had to get a piece of her linen i met um, Jody is her name. I met her at StitchCon last summer, and she is out in Oregon, and it was just such a wonderful um, experience meeting her. I really enjoyed meeting her, but here is what I got from her. I ordered, and it comes with these little tags on it, I ordered 40 Count Overcast, and so this is, and she has so many beautiful colors. She has Shades of green, shades of red, uh, all kinds of neutrals, all all counts. She has so many different counts. Um, it looks like I just got a fat quarter of this, but this is so pretty and it's really nice quality. But this is again overcast, forty count linen, just a nice color. Another thing I love about going to market, speaking of linen, is being able to see all of the linen um, companies. All the linen fiber on a whim is there. Um, fabrics by Stephanie, just you name it. All of those fabric designers are there. So I am excited about that because um, that, that, that is a good time to see some of the colors that people will be using this year. Um, I'm also excited to see all the new designs and share those with you, but, uh, I was, I just knew I needed a neutral color linen. So I also ordered from Keepsakes because I really wanted the exclusive pattern from JBW Designs. Um, JBW Judy, my friend Judy, I get to see her this weekend too. Um, she was the guest secret surprise guest designer for Stitch Away that uh, Keepsakes hosted in January. And she had an exclusive pattern that you can only get from Keepsakes. And it is called Bluebirds of Happiness. And this is the pattern. So if you are interested in this pattern, you call Keepsakes and they will get it to you. But it is this beautiful booklet um, with this amazing design. And in this, in this pattern, Judy also has finishing instructions. She goes over in detail how, first of all, she sh shares with you the, um, the original um, antique sampler where she got her inspiration. 
And she also has a, a video, a floss tube video with all of this. Um, but it was just such a, such a pretty booklet. But anyway, so she has little small motifs in here too. I can't show it to you because the pattern's on the same page. But she pulls out some of these small motifs and makes little little um, scissor fobs and little pin keeps and little little gifts that you can do. But I love blue, I love Judy, and I love little bluebirds. So this is a wonderful booklet. Um, but it is um, only offered through Keepsakes and I will link their website below. Um, I just called and spoke with Barbara and ordered it and um, got it. It is such a pretty, pretty pattern. And um, I'm excited to see all of Judy's new releases this year too. On Instagram, I posted a lot of my favorites that are coming out to market. I'm so excited to see Stacey Nash, Liz Matthews, Kathy Barrick, Little Robin, JBW, um, Plum Street. Um, Brenda Gervais will not be there this year and neither will, will Blackbird, but they both have um, great releases coming out. You can contact your local needlework store, get on the pre-order list. Um, a lot of them are probably traveling today, but they will um, more than likely have email or someone answering their phone or some way you can communicate with them if, there are anything, if there's anything that you want from market. I did get two antique samplers over the last few weeks that I wanted to share with you. This is such a unique one. This is really small. This is probably the smallest antique sampler that I've purchased. It is. It does not have a name on it. It is dated 1830. And it is very, very tiny. Very unique. It came in this old frame. Um, but the colors are really unusual. They're a mustard yellow. This looks like a pink, but I need to look at the back of it and determine what shade that is. Because I don't think that's the color it was when this was stitched. Um, just such a sweet little sampler. It's almost like this girl had a piece of scrap fabric and she wanted to do something with it and practice some of her some of her uh, motifs on it. So this was really, really sweet. I'm excited to display this one in my house, but it's from 1830 and it is um, very small. I think the dimensions are four and a quarter by seven and a half. So very small, a little sampler. And the other one I got is not framed. And I get these um, acid-free tissue paper to, to protect and preserve my um, samplers. But this is one that I got in the mail. I liked this one because of the pale blues and the pale pinks. So here is this one. This one is from, um, oh my goodness, my, I'm not wearing my glasses. I'll have to find the date on it. Let's see. Oh, I have the date somewhere. I know I do. I don't see it and my eyes are not cooperating. But I just loved all of the colors and the, the different types of stitches. She has um, and the different types of alphabet that she used. Very, very pretty. But look down here. This is really what got me. This blue heart, this sweet motif here, the little dog, that motif. I just really loved this antique sampler. Um, I will look for the date and, oh, here it is, 1842. <laughs> I found it. There it is, 1842, right there. It couldn't be any bigger. <laughs> so that was really a fun surprise to get that one in the mail. So that is all of my haul and gifts. So let's do last week's giveaways. Then I'm going to show you my whips and then we'll do this week's giveaways. So last week or two weeks ago, um, I asked you all, when do you start decorating for spring? Well, I usually start decorating before now, but like I said, I've just been a little, little, um, little distracted lately. So I will hopefully have mine up by next Monday. Um, but usually it's up by now, but it, that was fun to read all of your responses. Um, so thank you for participating. So here are the winners from last, the last episode. Um, we were very fortunate to get, uh, to receive some pins from Jersey Girl Stitch Company, my friend Teresa. She was so sweet to send me several to use for some of my finishes. 
um, and to use for giveaways. So thank you, Teresa. I will link her website below if you would like to go and look at some of the pins that she makes. But number one was Lily of the Valley. And this goes to Elaine Edwards. Elaine Edwards. Number two is the Queen's Bouquet. These beautiful blue. This goes to Paula Abay, A-B-A-Y, Paula Abay. Number three is from a viewer. This is Brenda Gervais, Our Story. This goes to Ann Smith, and that's A-N-N-E Smith. Number four is a board from Stitch Etc., a black Tyler board. This goes to Devra, D-E-V-R-A, Klein, K-L-I-N-E. And number five is um, from the Nebby Needle and from um, Fat Quarter Shop A. So we have a B, um, it's called B Beautiful Cross Stitch Pattern and a Needle Minder. This goes to Meredith Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, Meredith Lewis. So if I've called your name, email me at thepropersitcher at gmail.com and I will get these in the mail to you next week or as soon as I hear from you. Um, so if you are interested in participating in any of my giveaways, be a subscriber, like the video, and answer the question below in the comments section and list the number that you're interested in winning. Um, I do a random comment picker and I you do that by inserting the number that you're interested in. So I enter, um, from this video, I'll enter number one and then it generates a random comment picker. And then I cross reference to see if you are a subscriber um, of my channel. And that is how I do my um, giveaways. So let's go ahead and do the giveaways this week since I'm doing this part right now. So here we go. Since I just explained that and I am doing that. So let's do that now. So here we go. And I think I forgot to number these, but that's okay, I'll remember. Um, I'll put numbers on them afterwards. So this week, what I would like to know is, um, the question I would like for you to answer below is, what is your favorite whip that you're working on? What is your favorite work in progress that you have? If you have more than one. Um, if you only have one whip, what, what whip are you working on? So my favorite whip that I'm working on right now is, um, Artful Offerings um, Americana Sailboat Sampler. And I'll share, share that with you in just a minute. But that's my favorite whip. I have so many whips, it's hard to pick just one. But that one right now, what I am working on, I have about five that I'm working on pretty, pretty seriously right now. And that one is my favorite. So list the numbers that you were interested below. Answer the question, with, what is your favorite work in progress or whip that you're working on? and um, I will draw a winner next Thursday. So here we go. Number one is courtesy of um, Under the Woolen Willow. I shared these with y'all a couple of weeks ago. Um, this was a gift to me from, from, here's her, Under the Woolen Willow. And Michelle is um, so talented. This is her company. She has an Etsy shop. I will link it below. But she makes these a beautiful, um, many different things she makes, but she sent me these beautiful strawberries. These are her sampler strawberries. So I'm keeping one and one is a giveaway. So this is number one and they are just beautiful. Look at that stick. So pretty. So this is number one from under the woolen willow. Number one. Number two is courtesy of the fat quarter shop. We have this um, cross stitch key. So this is a corner gauge and a ruler and two packs of floss bitties. One with a um, with the rose on it and this one with the little summer um, inner tube, a uh, floaty tube. Um, that is number two. Number three is also from the Fat Quarter Shop. This is Frosty Typeface Series. So this is number three. Number four is from the Nebby Needle. This is the Bees of Summer, number four. 
and these would be so cute they're round these would be so cute on a round stitch etc board or on in a round frame so cute number four number five is heartstring samplery um, a token for my friendship this is sewn in friendship pattern so that's number five and number six is from the Fat Quarter Shop, Simply Half Yards um, Quilt Book. So this is an It's So Emma booklet, very nice spiral bound book, um, Simply Half Yards. So those are the giveaways for this week. So answer the question below, list the number that you're interested in winning, and um, I'll draw next week. So, okay, so here are my whips that I've been working on since I last saw you. Um, I have been working on one, two, four whips, four whips, and these four whips will go with me this weekend to, um, Franklin. Um, not sure how much stitching time I'll get in. We will, we're really busy during the day and I guess it just depends on what kind of, what our energy level is like at night to see if we'll stitch in the room. But one that I have been working on is from Stacy Nash or by Stacy Nash and this is Stacy's Nash deck the coop pin keep this is such a cute Christmas design um, this I'm stitching for a gift I just love those chickens <laughs> and the little she looks like little red red, red robin little red riding hood um, but I just love this and the holly berry so here is my progress I'm working on the border and it is a sweet border. I love that color, very muted tones, really pretty. Here are the details. Okay, so I am stitching this using all of the call for floss, which are all the week's dye works floss. And I am stitching it on 40 count R&R &R reproduction linen called Patriot's Brew, so 40 count. So I'm using one strand of floss over two. Someone uh, messaged me to be careful about the border on this side. So I need to go back and see what she was talking about. I think there was something to look out for. So I'll let you know what that is next week when I get around there, get around to that side of the border. But I love this one. Um, it is a really pretty, pretty pattern. Lots of color changes, but it's really pretty. So, Stacy Nash Deck the Coop Pin Keep. I got that this um, December when I went to Spring Green, um, the country sampler. My next whip that I have been working on is Americana Sailboat Sampler. And this is from by Artful Offerings. Such a cute, cute pattern. I'm so excited about this. So here is my progress. I, this, this side of the, the um, sale is no joke. Um, lots, I've had to rip out a lot of that because I miscounted, but I love the way it is looking. It doesn't look like I stitched a lot on it since I last saw you, but this was about three nights of stitching, the, the red and the white, but that wasn't, many hours of stitching, but I worked on it for three nights in a row, but I had to rip out a couple of times. So here are the details. I am stitching this on 36 count Fox and Rabbit paper bark um, fabric. So I'm using one strand of floss over two, and I am using all of the called for colors with the exception of the red. I decided to change the red and what I have what I am using right now is Weeks Dye Works um, Louisiana Hot Sauce, and that is the red that I have chosen. And I think it looks really nice. The red that was um, called for is DMC 21 and 22. And when I pulled that out, it was just a little too orange. So at the dye lot was, it doesn't look orange in the, the paper, on the paper of the pattern. But when I started um, pulling the colors, I just didn't like the way it looked. So I switched to this more of a true red and here it is. So pretty. 
I'm excited about this one. Um, and hopefully I will be able to finish that other half of the sale this weekend. Um, a lot of fun to stitch. I'm excited about it. Um, so Americana Sailboat Sampler by Artful Offerings. So I will let you know the other, there are two shades of red that um, are selected and I have not picked the second shade yet. That's in the border at the top right here. This up here at the top is two shades of red. This is just one shade of red. So I will let you know what this other red is that I'll pick up here when I get there. So that is my second whip I've been working on and my favorite one right now. I really shouldn't say that. They're all my favorite, but I do have a favorite, I guess. The next one I'm working on is the Plum Street Samplers Soul Sisters. And I am almost finished with this one. Well, it seems like I'm almost finished with it. It has a lot of fill in, but here's my progress. When I last saw you all, I did not have a lot. I just had the top of the, the blue filled in and I did not have this girl done at all and she did not have a head. So I've stitched her head, just not her hair. And I did the scissors. So this is a, this was one that a couple of nights I didn't really feel like counting. So I did the fill in work and that was really helpful for a night that I wanted to stitch, but I didn't want to focus. So that's what I worked on. This I'm stitching on 37 count Russian tea cake linen by Legacy Linen. And I'm using one strand of floss over two. Now their heads are tent stitches um, or um, half stitches. So that is taking me a little bit more time to focus on, but it is a lot of fun. I really, really am enjoying this pattern. And I need to remember to go in and put her other shoe. I don't want another situation where I forget to put a shoe on. So that is all of the, um, excuse me, I'm using all the call for colors of uh, floss and I'm using one strand of floss over two, but here they all are. They're really messy, sorry. But I am enjoying this. I love all of Plum Street Sampler's patterns. Her houses are big and usually a lot of fill in. So before you pick a Plum Street pattern, make sure you really like the house because most of the time that's what you will be spending the majority of your stitching on. But all the colors are so pretty. This is my favorite. This is Deep Fennel by Classic Color Works and that is the color of the background. So pretty. So that I am excited to get it finished. I'm stitching this also as a gift for Stitch Etc. for her a shop model. And then my last whip that I have been working on, I actually started on the plane to Las Vegas and I did not get to stitch on it for very long. Oops. And that is JBW Designs Rabbit Alphabet. Let me open it so you can get the full. This is a beautiful pattern and I really wish I'd picked a different color. I think that's why I haven't gotten very far with it, but here is my progress. I'm worried that blue is gonna to be too light. Let me put something behind it. I'm worried that blue is gonna be just too light. But I started in the center and I am using um, a corn silk blue. Um, and, the, and I just went with something that was in my stash. Um, I pulled a lot of colors and I wanted a blue, but I think this is just a little too soft and too light, but we'll see. I'll keep, I'll keep at it for a little while, but I am not saying stitch this in silk. I only had, I was looking at all the different blues that I had and um, this was my favorite that I had. I would go with any light blue over dyed or any color you want, but I wanted an over dyed and I wanted this shade of blue and it just so happened this was the color I had in my stash. And this was a gift. This was something that someone gave me and I did not have it um, slated to use for anything else. But this is Water Lilies Silk and it's called Cornflower Blue. Um, but it's such a sweet design. Uh, I want to keep stitching it for a little bit and see if I like the color. If I don't, then I'll switch it. But 
very, very sweet. Or I can just do the center in that color and use it for something, you know, make it into something else and then pick another color if I want to stitch it in something bigger. But this is where I am, right there. So, and I'm stitching this on 32 count antique white linen from Belfast Linen. And I'm using one, uh, two strands of floss. So, um, it's really pretty. It's a really pretty design. So, those are all of my whips that I have been working on over the last two weeks. Um, so, hopefully this next week I'll have a little bit more to share with you and a little bit more progress on all of those. So I hope y'all have a great weekend. I will be posting photos and maybe little short videos on Instagram and Facebook of Market. And I'm so excited to bring all of that back to you next week. I'll have some interesting things on my bookshelves. They won't be, they won't be vacant and bare and empty, but I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get some fabulous stitching time in. And until then, have a great time.